Hi, my name is Emma Mullen. I'm a staff scientist here at Intellectual Ventures Laboratory, and we're going to look at our insectary here. And my name is Barch Lassar. I am a research biologist. My specialty is entomology. This is the insectary that, we're, uh, that we keep on the Philly Stephensi, and we've been maintaining our colony for about two years now. And this room is temperature controlled, humidity controlled. All right, so these are the eggs that the mosquitoes lay after they blood feed. And they use the proteins from the blood to develop their eggs, and they lay their eggs in their water dish, as you see here. It usually takes about one or two days for eggs to hatch. Then we have the first instar larva. And uh, here we have the second instar. These guys are about four days old after the, the eggs were put in. These are the 13 stars. These guys are the 14 stars. After they are going to turn into pupa, and the pupa will look a little bit different than the larva. The pupa will not feed. They are going through a complete metamorphosis, and they will turn into adults. So what we do is, after the 14 stars start pupating, we start uh, taking the pupa out of the trays and putting them into cages like this. This is our first version of cradle to grave cage, where we do the um, dosing experiments. These are the second generation cradle to grave boxes. These are a little bit different than that one because we have some openings that the mosquitoes can land on the side. So let me just compare it right here. So these have more air circulation. And once again, we have the hose attachment. We can fit the, uh, put, put some kind of fitting in here and then attach the carbon dioxide and anesthetize the mosquitoes with the zapping if we need to. And also, we feed our mosquitoes raisins here, and both the males and the females eat raisins uh, for their nutrients throughout their life, and the blood is only for egg development. We do have a feeding unit. The feeder unit eliminates the need of uh, having a live animal as a host. So uh, we do have membrane feeding here. When we blood feed, we also use membrane feeding. We do not use any live animals and the feeder unit um, keeps the temperature stable. Now you're seeing the insectary and the tasks associated with insectary. The mosquitoes raised here in this insectary support several projects. Uh, those are the photonic fence tracking and dosing, also mosquito acoustics and videography, artificial diet, and other projects as, as well. We are trying to learn about the vector behavior here so that we can um, incorporate this sector of behavior uh, into the malaria eradication program.